America. Nothing like a little bit of lively debate to keep things fresh here on the Daily uh, Buzz. That's right. It's time for some buzzer beater. Now, All usually right. it's uh, Jessica mm -hmm. versus Kristen, but yep. today it's going to be Kristen and I. So yes. let's just let's just jump right into it. All right. Okay. Stephen Hawking has recently come out and made some statements about the survival of mankind. Okay. Hawking said that is if humanity is to endure, people have to start being nicer to each other. The alternative, space colonization. Send them to Mars. Send them, send them out of here. So uh, <laughs> do you agree? Yes, we need to be nicer to each other. I mean, we are the own down downfall of our planet. You know, okay. look what we do to the environment. Um, we're killing each other in wars over religion and all of this other stuff. We need to be nice, like world peace. It's It sounds cliche, but... Kristen is now uh, running for Miss America because I think my way. I think that this elbow, is elbow, ridiculous. Wrist, wrist, wrist. It's about survival of the fittest. If you can't keep up, get out. Go to Mars. Oh, and world peace. <laughs> no, 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 no. Get out of here. All, All right. right, moving on. I'm joking, by the way. Moving on. Ohio resident Muhammad Fall was banned from a local LA fitness for praying in the locker room. Paul, a practicing Muslim, says employees approached him one day while he was praying and told him that he would be banned if he continued to do wow, so. But really? here's here's the thing: no one ever seemed to care but the employees, as, as far as he, you know, okay, as he knew. Okay, sure. But, uh, do you think that the gym crossed the line here? Yes, absolutely. I mean, I think that they should ban people who are naked and walk around the locker room and spread their legs in the sauna, like. You know what? Yes. You know what? Yeah. People praying and keeping to themselves. Absolutely. You know? I fully agree with you. Uh, I, and something that's also curious to mm -hmm. me if he got on his knees and, and prayed to, to Jesus or, you know, mm -hmm. as a Christian, would that have would that changed be any anything? Different? That's you very know, true. You know, would they have approached him that way? So I agree with you on this one, Kristen. We'll, all right. Thank you, Jared. You, you said what? You, you what? You ug. Uh, I uh, agree, agree with you. All right. Last Perfect. up, one report <laughs> says that you should be washing your dishes the old fashioned way. Okay. Uh, the study okay. finds that kids that grow up in a home where parents wash dishes by hand rather than the dishwasher are less affected by common allergens. What do you think? Dishwasher or hand wash? So when I use the dishwasher, I tend yes. to just put everything in the dishwasher without washing it because no. I feel like that's what they're for. And my husband says they're not garbage disposals, but then when we open it after it's done, there's like little crusty food things on there. So oh. you're welcome to come over to my house for a dinner party. Yeah, you like. I'm gonna they're bring they're paper plates and plastic cups <laughs> because you know you apparently I'm, don't I'm wash not your a fan dishes. I'm washing dishes, so not <laughs> definitely not the old-fashioned way because that would take way too much time. I hear you. I, I I wash my dishes. I put them in the dishwasher. No, you, though. no, you know you have a you have a nice housekeeper that comes. I, I know this. Rosa, don't, I, don't I love lie. you. I love you, Rosa. But thanks for calling me out. I appreciate you're that. You're welcome.